This place has got it going on. Ha, I owe you big time for inviting me. <laughs> Who wants to dance, huh? Huh? I call this one the sprinkler. <laughs> Woo! Hey, you think it'd be okay to wear this outfit to your brother's wedding? What? Your brother's wedding, man. What are you gonna wear? Oh, God. Man, you gotta hand it to Steve, huh? That Emily is the perfect woman. Got strong legs, tight stomach, a positive mental attitude. Oh, a woman like that can really keep you on track. Shut up! Idiot! You know, Doug, and just because you and your brother are having problems, that's no reason to refer to my intellectual capacity in a diminutive manner. I'm sorry, Craig. It's just... Can we not talk about my brother for a second? 10-4... Boundary set. Thank you. Wow! Ooh, man. I am having a hell of a time! Woo! Ooh. Ooh. This moment, I want to make a toast to Steve and Emily, who after tomorrow will be Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Butavi. Emily Sanderson Butavi. Whoever you become. Uh, I would also like to thank everyone for flying in to join us, uh, especially my, my parents who came in all the way from Maine. <laughs> yes, just, yes. Despite mom's sciatica. <laughs> ter ter terrific, sir. Yes, yes. And of course, uh, the Butabis who came in all the way from Yemen. Yemen. And uh, that's not the only union. From what I understand, we got a new uh, lamp plant store. Plant lamp store. Much better. <laughs> Seriously, it sounds better. Um, Steve, do you want to stand up and make a toast? No, I'm all right. Steve, I think that you should stand up and make a toast. All the men are making toast. I think you should make a toast. Uh, okay, I, I just want to say, uh, what's up, Grandma, Grandpa, and to the other two old people, what's up? Yeah, you. Very nice, very nice. Thanks. I think uh, what Steve is trying to say is that we are just uh, thrilled with the way this family is coming together. And now I would like to share with you some of our business plans for after the merger. I'm going to get some more wine. Jeff? Yes. Jeff. Is, is there like, any way we can cancel this whole thing? Yes. No. Uh, that is so funny, but Dad, it's like Emily turned out to be this whole different other person. Let me explain something to you. The caterer has been paid. Your grandparents have flown halfway around the world to get here. Besides, all men are nervous the night before their wedding, okay? Oh, you mean all guys are nervous and anxious? And kind of hope she eats a can of botulism? Or, or, or maybe... She could hang out with a deer, and a hunter accidentally shoots her. Or, or you know when she's sleeping, she makes that nose whistle sound, and you, you shake her to make her be quiet? But what you'd really like to do is take her stupid little red toothbrush and ram it up her nostril into her skull? These are perfectly normal feelings. OK. Duck? You there? It's Steve. The road is long. Hi. You reached Doug Butavi. I'm not here right now because I'm outside living it up. Unlike my pussy whip brother, who's too busy throwing his life away for Emily. Beep. Doug, sorry I missed you. Um. Uh, I guess I'm getting married, and, uh, I'm just wondering if you wanted to be my best man. Give me a call. Or page me. I'm in our room still, across from the pool. See ya.